Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we are going to talk about the five reasons why you should be considering to upgrade to the new MacBook Pro M1 Pro or M1 Max. So it's preferably my five reasons why I consider to get the new MacBook Pro M1 Pro. And by the way, we have already ordered that, and it's arriving really soon. And if you want to watch the complete unboxing videos and all the reviews and all the benchmarks that we will be running onto that machine. so please don't forget to subscribe us so let's get back to the top so as the name suggests it's the macbook pro m1 pro the name over here suggests that pro so it's for the professional users the pro users because into the past for for one year we had this machine that's an incredible machine by the way this is the macbook air m1 and by the way we also have the macbook pro m1 So this machine has been a really good machine, and it like it's onto the base model. And I, we had been using this machine for a quite a while now, and couple of months. So it has been actually working really great. There has been no issues into it. But being a professional user, like being a content creator, being a developer, and continuously running a lot of intensive tasks onto my machine. so on this machine most of the users just can't go with everything because the pro users has been demanding for much more better gpu much more better cpu than what this current version has because we all know that this is the just the base version until now what we had with the m1 processor was just in 13 inch macbook air and macbook pro so the users has been demanding for a much more bigger size of a display So now finally into the 16 inch MacBook Pro that we are getting right now is upgraded to an M1 Pro processor. So just as the name suggests it's the M1 Pro that means into the M1 processor we were getting an 8 core processor into which 4 cores were for efficiency and 4 were for performance. Now into the M1 Pro what we are getting a new processor completely redesigned processor upgraded from M1 So in that processor we are getting a 10 core of CPU into which 8 cores are dedicated for performance and 2 cores for efficiency and if we just have a look towards the what's the incremental into the performance that's 70% better performance than the M1 processor so this has been one big reason like why professional users has been waiting for and If you are onto the digital content creation side, like for if you are editing videos on your machine, if you are on the way, you need a portable laptop just as good as any desktop machine. So, the M1 Pro has got a much more better upgrade to the GPU as well. So, if we have a look at to the M1, it was having an just eight core of GPU, but right now the M1 Pro has got a sixteen core of GPU. That's massive. and if you compare the performance it's 2x whereas if you upgrade the machine to an M1 Max you can get a 32 core of GPU that will have a four times performance so guys this can be one big reason why like most users most professional users were waiting for and this can be one reason for a great upgrade next coming on to the next one the port selection on the new macbook pro in the 2021 is just amazing so until the last year we had all the macbook pros arriving with four thunderbolt ports but now into the 2021 we have a great selection of the ports firstly we have an hdmi port for a direct connectivity to a display or a monitor secondly we also have an sd card slot so for the creators just like me and you So for the creators SD card slots that's just amazing guys we don't have to carry around and dongle just to transfer the data from a camera so that's an amazing step by the way we don't know like why did apple chose to remove that but yes that's finally arrived over here and then we have in addition to that three thunderbolt four ports the port selection that we are getting over here is just amazing so we don't need to now carry around dongles yeah obviously you'll be needing to carry around dongles for usb c to usb a connection but yes if you had been into the side like where you'd be needing 
connections for HDMI for SD card so those dongles just go away now now getting to the next thing over here that's a battery so MacBook Pro is coming up with an amazing battery life the 14 inch model is coming up within 17 hours of playback and the 16 inch is coming up within 21 hours of playback that's really amazing and top of that we have the massive charger returning back so we have the new massive charger coming back also along with that like it's the cable of the massive is not connected to the adapter it's a detachable cable so if at all the cable gets damaged you can easily replace that cable as well as if you want to still charge with any of one of the thunderbolt ports you are unable to charge with any of the thunderbolt ports if you are still using a c type of a charger nextly coming down they they have also integrated a new feature for the fast charge so within 30 minutes of charge you can get to the 50 percent of a battery life so that's really amazing over here coming on to the next one display now the display has been just made amazing because firstly we have an increased size in the 14 inch model that's a new variant by the way so an upgrade from 13 inch to 14 inch and the display size in that which we get is 14.2 inches and into the 16 inch model we get a 16.2 inches of the display size along with that we have got 10,000 mini leds embedded into it that provide an amazing color gamut and 1 million is to 1 contrast ratio peak brightness reaches to 1600 nits and a constant brightness of 1000 nits that's just amazing you get onto inside like where you need an amazing display for video editing for even for the web development part even for the for the developers if you need a great display so this is what machine has got by the way we do get a notch at to the top the reason why there is a notch is the camera so the camera has also been upgraded so that complete camera module over here has been upgraded to from 720p to a 1080p full hd resolution so we get now much more sharper images so into the previous model of the macbook pros we had a 720p of resolution of a camera but this time it has upgraded to a 1080p we don't know why it has taken so much long time like the apple didn't upgrade it to this but yes there's obviously one more thing uh, with which we are a little bit upset is that they haven't integrated the face id so if we had a notch if we had a camera module such like so good so we should also have the power of face id unlocking so that we do not have by the way so this can be the five reasons the firstly the processor secondly the port selection battery display and camera so guys i perfectly think that if these five things these incredible things come down to in one machine that can become one of the best machines we can have that has the eligibility for portability as well that's the reason we have ordered the machine as well so it's arriving really soon and we do want to know what are your opinions and reviews about this new macbook pro m1 pro so do comment your opinions down into the comment section below so meet you in the next episode till then goodbye